Hello everybody, welcome to Thursday's and Friday's English. Very exciting. So, our job today is to write persuasively. So, Mr. Fenn, and children at home of course, what does it mean to be persuasive? Right, it's when you're trying to convince someone. Yeah, So absolutely. remember earlier when you were tucking into your chocolate cake, I do, and yeah. I said, oh no, 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 you don't want to eat that, it doesn't look very good. Give it to me. I'll take care of it. Yeah, so you were trying to persuade yeah. me to give you the cake. You were trying to convince somebody to do something. Not forcing them to do something. You're trying to convince them, yeah? Make them think it's a good idea. And of course, this week you have come up with your own shop. Um, you've thought about what items, what objects are being sold in your shop. You've written expanded noun phrases to describe them, to make them sound really good. Yesterday we looked at questions, didn't we, and how we could use questions persuasively. So today we're going to kind of put this all together and we're going to write what is essentially a kind of advert, all right? Right. So I've, to, to give you a flavour of what I mean, I've already had a go at this, Mr. Fenn. Okay. And you may recall, children at home, that my shop, it was quite a niche shop really, wasn't it? But it's, it sold basically old toys and games, all right? So here's my persuasive writing, my advert for my shop. Have you ever wanted to play some of the best games ever made? You should buy a fun Game Boy from Mr. Lake's shop. You will love it because you can play Super Mario, Tetris and other games too. You can play it on your own or with friends. You might also like some amazing Thunderbirds. You can play with them and pretend you're rescuing people. Yeah? That's great. Yeah, it makes me want to buy those things. Yeah. Brilliant. So hopefully you've got there. What I've done is I've written a kind of advert for my shop. I've tried to persuade you to come to my shop and buy the things I'm selling, the Game Boy, the Thunderbirds. OK, so you have got in your resources pack today some sentence starters, as well as my example as well, by the way, just to help remind you. But you've got some sentence starters which will help you. You don't have to use them all, do you, Mr. Fenn? No. And you don't have to use them in that order either or, or anything like that, okay? They're just there to give you some ideas, okay? But what we're going to do now is construct another piece of writing, another persuasive advert, and this time we're gonna do it for your shop, Mr. Fenn. So remind yes. us, because it started off as a hat shop, didn't it? Yeah, well, I've actually, I've got, I've got changed. Some of your pockets. I wanted to get in the mood so yes, it's my, it's basically a running shop yep. and we started off trying to sell a, a running hat. Uh, so that must be why you're dressed like that, that you're modelling some that of the is, products. It's not just that we've been filming P with Paul right. and I didn't right. have time to get changed, no. Okay, cool. Right. So, okay, so you're, okay, well, I, I, we talked before about this, you, you quite like starting with a question. I love starting with a question. Have you ever wanted? Get some sort of yeah, interest get in some straight away. in, doesn't it? Yeah, right. so. so let's put, have you ever wanted? Well, we don't just want to say, have you ever wanted a hat? We and talked then... about this yesterday. So, have you ever wanted to... Yeah, okay. Have you ever wanted to stay warm? And look good. And so... still, we could change the conjunction to buck. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to stay warm but still look good when you are running? Oh, I love it. Okay, mm. so okay. let's go then. So, have you ever wanted, it's starting to join up now by the way, wanted it to, so what was it, have you ever wanted to stay Warm. Warm. And then we were, we were going to put like, and look stylish when you're running, but actually I think. But look. Yeah. But right. let's have the other conjunction. Yeah. But. So, but. Love you joining, Mr. Lake. Thank you. But still. All look, but still. Look cool or look stylish. Yes, but still look, I like cool, but still look cool. I mean, saying so when you're running? Yeah. That's the point, it's your running shop. So when, when you're running. When you, go with your, you, apostrophe, R-E for so you are. You are, your. Running, double, double the consonant, I-N-G. And then I need a. Question mark, because it's a question. Absolutely right. So, have you ever wanted to stay warm but still look cool when you're running? Great. Okay. 
Okay, now we could just do a list of questions, but I don't think that flows so well. I think it'd be good to go with another yeah, type of Yeah, I think with, that's nice. Yeah, so uh, let's take off questions for now. Let's go on to this. Yeah, so you should buy... Okay, you should buy, and then let's imagine... Well, it's a warm hat, but we don't want to say warm again, do we? We don't want to repeat You words. should buy this wonderful, warm, wonderful. winter hat. Oh, yeah. have you done, you don't. Yeah, that's a shame. We've... Okay, but we would use warm, so yeah. let's not use that. Okay, cozy. Okay. Um, let's use. You should. You should buy the. Yeah, cozy is a great word. Yeah, isn't you it? should buy this cozy. Um, stylish. We didn't use stylish. stylish. And, <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. We didn't say this yesterday. No, but it's okay. We can change things now. Make it better. Do you know what really makes me want to buy things? What's the that? most important thing. Is it? If it's cheap. Yes, yes, I love cheap You don't things. want to spend too much money, do you? I don't. So, we so could... we're saying cozy, cozy stylish, and, and cheap. cheap. That yeah. one, I would want to buy that. Okay? Fantastic. Yes, you so... should buy this cozy, comma, stylish, and um, cheap, cheap hat. hat. Okay, so you should buy... Cozy, comma, yeah. style, because we've got three adjectives, haven't we? Stylish and cheap hat. Brilliant. Mm. And then I was thinking as well. What do you think about the punctuation? Full, a full stop's fine. We could go, if we want to really emphasize it, we could put exclamation mark. Or just yeah, I like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. No, you should buy this cozy, stylish, and cheap hat. Yeah, it needs an exclamation mark, really, doesn't okay. it? We're emphasising it. Yeah, and I was thinking as well, we talked about how it was, another purpose of it was that you said it would be reflective. It was a safety, so, wasn't it? It was the car's lights reflect of it yeah. so they can see you if it's dark. So maybe you'll love it because it will keep you safe, I guess, if you're running at night time. Yeah, or, or you will love it because cars will be able to see you yeah if you let's think how can we like, let's practice yeah this. so you will love it because cars will be able to see you if you're running at night yeah. yeah yeah you That's will great. love it because so you will love it because because b c a u s e because cars will be able to see you, see you if, do you know which kind of your I need to use? Oh, okay, I was going to write if it's dark, if you, right, it's if you are yeah so it's you are will contract that so yeah you're. you're yeah fantastic if, if you're, you're running, running at night at night okay great and then you know for thursday you might think that's a that's a good place to stop for today yeah. we'll stop we've covered that one thing we'll finish there and then pick it up tomorrow yeah, yeah? okay but we of course in this video are going to carry on so we're We've then got, so you might also like, or you can have something like also, you could buy. So we want to introduce something else that you're selling in your shop. Okay. So yesterday we only talked about your fantastic range of hats, Mr. Ben, but what else are you selling in your... Okay, well let's give our ideas. Remember, when, when you're writing, like we, Mr. Lake and I are doing, we're always we're saying it out loud. Yep. And usually the first thing we say is not what we write down, no. because I throw an idea, you, give, you change it, we mm -hmm. change... Okay, and make sure you're giving ideas. Don't rely on mummy or daddy to come up with all the ideas. Please make sure you're giving your ideas. Um, okay, right. What else are we going to sell in my shop? Well, it's a running shop. You know what you need in a running shop? Shoes. S not shoes, Mr. Lake. Super speedy running shoes. Caught on, my that quite hurts, yeah. actually. Yeah, okay. Super speedy running shoes, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so maybe you might also like our... Uh... You might also like our super speedy... Speedy, our oh, super speedy running shoes. Yeah, yeah. So you 
might also like our, our which kind of hour is it? <laughs> oh, you are our super speedy running shoes. Okay. Great. Okay, maybe we could sort of say then what's so great about our super. So okay. what makes them? Well, I'm thinking. Right, we could talk about how how stylish they look, but we kind of meant we could do that. That's fine. Yeah. We've, um, you know they're they're quite bouncy. Yes. Yeah, so they sort bouncy. of helps you run faster. Yeah. They're not very heavy, so they're quite light. Yeah, and I like this, and you said that helps you to run faster. So. Yeah, because if you had heavy things, you're going to be slower. So. So they're kind of they're bouncy and lightweight, so you can run really fast. Yeah. Yeah, let's write that down. Yeah. They are. So they. Are bouncy, bouncy, and say lightweight, just light, light. They're bouncy and very light. They're bouncy and lightweight. Let's go for lightweight. Yeah. So think. they are bouncy and lightweight. Yeah. So another conjunction there. Love yeah. it. So you can. Run really R E A double L Y fast spell fast. I think an exclamation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's an important point. Okay, great. And then we could talk more about that. We could introduce another thing, right? Maybe you're selling a watch or something like yeah. that to help record your time, things like that. You can keep going and keep advertising your products, but. For us now, I think that's a good place to, to stop for us now. So we've got, have you ever wanted to stay warm but still look cool when you're running? You should buy this cosy, stylish and cheap hat. You will love it because cars will be able to see you if you're running at night. You might also like our super speedy running shoes. They are bouncy and lightweight so you can run really fast. That's great. There love we go, it. we've got an advert for our shop now. Yeah, that's nice. And you know it would be really great, I was thinking, if children did this, they might want to even film themselves saying it as a kind of advert <laughs> we could put on Class Dojo. That, so that would, be would be nice. Yeah, that would yeah. be really cool. Definitely worth some dojos, okay? So you've got, as I say, you've got your sentence starters as ever, okay? But like we said, you don't need to use all of them. Um, you don't need to use them in that order. Just think about making it flow really, make it sound good. Don't forget to say it first. And please do feel free as well as, on my way, as well as this video you have got in your resources pack, my example from earlier. So write a brilliant advert for your fantastic shops. We can't wait to read them. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're trying to persuade me and Mr. Fenn to spend our money in your shops, all right? So yeah. make and it as persuasive as possible. With your handwriting, mm -hmm. I know, yeah, if we were at school, we'd teach every lesson handwriting. So do, do remember, do your best handwriting. You've been learning those joins. Get the letter the right size. Start at the right place. I think I think a lot of you will be starting to join some of your yeah, letters up absolutely. now. Okay, or, or we don't want handwriting to just be a separate thing. Try and use it in this as well. Yeah, completely. And we have seen some great handwriting coming through on Dojo. We have, yeah. Some really and we've given those... We've given out a lot of dojo points for the handwriting mm -hmm. and joined up writing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, so have fun doing your persuasive writing, your advert. Can't wait to see it and see you next time.